Gather round, people. Dr. Kelso has an announcement to make. I'll be all dead. You can go back to doing whatever you were doing. It was my day off. Due to lack of funds, I'm shutting down our baby mobile, which means there will no longer be free prenatal care for underprivileged women. Mr. Morrison, I understand that one of our interns spent an hour in here telling you over and over that you were going to die. I would make him apologize personally, but I'm having him spend the rest of the day checking that countertop's heartbeat. Sorry, Mr. Morrison. Keith! I think Mr. Countertop would really appreciate your undivided attention. Now, the hospital is running an experimental drug trial on a medication that they're hoping will reduce the size of tumors. And, well, I'm going to try my hardest to get you in there. I really appreciate that, sir. Intro is killing me. Have you seen Kelso? Nope. But our new patient, Mr. Franks, in here is crazy rich, so I'd imagine Big Bob will be here momentarily to make love to his money clip. Hi, Bob Kelso. Listen up, bozos. That gentleman over there is basically a cash pinata waiting to be whacked open. So how about someone diagnoses him so I could get my candy? I'll be glad to do it, Bob. If you'll do me a favor and put my patient, Mr. Morrison, in that experimental drug trial. Sure, what the hell? Deal. Whoa, whoa, you want to hear a weird coincidence? The pathology just came back on Dr. Kelso's rich patient. He has the same brain tumor as your guy, Mr. Morrison. I don't know why we were running, because I think we both knew that we couldn't change anything. Because given a choice between a rich guy and a poor guy, it was pretty obvious who Bob Kelso would put in the drug trial and who he'd leave behind. There was one spot open in the study. I gave it to the rich guy because with the money he's now donating, I can reopen the prenatal unit. What really bothers me is that you can look in there at John Morrison, the guy that you essentially gave a death sentence to, and just not care. It's not my job to care, Perry. <laughs>